I'm Mark Cerny. Get out of here, Mark. We recently revealed the Take newest the L, brother. I'm taking the L to the panel, base. PS5 Pro. Alongside that L can't get any deeper inside me. I'll tell you that. Frame rates and improved graphics. Yeah. <sighs> For the love of God, Sony, stop wasting our time. Seriously. You know how much I sacrificed my sleep just to be able to attend your stupid events, to show your stupid games for your stupid crowd, to purchase at stupid prices. Well, YouTube, does the word stupid offend you now? Are you gonna limit ads all because I said stupid? Whatever. For those of you that missed out my live stream watching it, well, sucks to suck. You gotta be there when Daddy Fritz streams. Any event you could think of, just expect me to be there. Or if you can't show up to that, you can always be here Saturdays at 12 p.m. Pacific time. Don't miss out. And also, don't miss the opportunity to get uh, some unfiltered opinions on this PlayStation Showcase on the second channel for Tango Griffs. Because, you know, I do have to keep it a little neutral here. There's a big target on anti-woke content. All thanks to Mr. Andy Pants on Fire. And also, well, I, you know, I just want to keep my thoughts clean for those who just want to tune in a video without any of that anti-woke stuff that a lot of people are a little sensitive to. You know, we'll just go over how shit this event was. I don't feel like editing, okay? It's fair to say it wasn't good. When, when even Dreamcast guys had enough of it, you know, Sony didn't put up a good show. News on the horizon. Oh no, it's the Horizon Remaster. Oh no. Oh my God, it's real. Aloy's original adventure. No. First, your monthly games for They're announcing PlayStation Plus games. What? How desperate are they? I don't find them. They're announcing a controller. Oh my God. It's a clown show. It's so over. What is... I'm having a crisis here, boys. We didn't expect them to. It was a state of play, after all. To expect anything huge at these things is like expecting One Piece to keep a steady pace in its animation. Now, I just want to start off by saying Sony showed absolutely nothing we don't know already exists outside of course, of the last game. How do I know this? Because while well, most of the games that they showed me here, I already saw at an Xbox showcase not too long ago. It's getting really tiring seeing both these companies show their consumers the same games and especially trying their best not to advertise that they're coming to other brands when they are. You know, they think you're that stupid. They think you're tuning in, expecting all of this to be for your console only. Well, rent was due for Sony after Concord's failure. So they said, why not? Let's collect a little cash from all these developers who want their games promoted. Let's put up a showcase. Let's reveal uh, three new controllers and tell people that's it for the year. Highlights of the event, what I thought was good. Well, Monster Hunter, which, you know, we already saw plenty of at another event that Sony doesn't want you to know exists. Then we also got to see Lunar, a, a classic. You must play Lunar. No, seriously, emulate it now, purchase this. It don't matter. Seeing Lunar makes me happy. Then we got to see some DLC for Astro Bot. And well, my brother has a PS5 and I've actually played Astro Bot a bit. It's excellent. Easily one of the best games this year. So this was a welcome, not really surprise, but a welcome update. Can't really complain. Let's not forget Legacy of Cain, which looks excellent. If you haven't played it, well, here's your chance to play it remastered. I mean, you, know, you could already do this for a long time on another platform, but whatever. If you're a console only user, this is a massive W. Now, of course I didn't hesitate to show Dynasty Warriors again. But hey, that's fine. That's a bonus for me. A lot of people don't like Dynasty Warriors. I fucking love it. Very much looking forward to it. We got to see the Lego Horizon game, which looks adorable. Of course, I'll play it. I mean, I'll consider it a plus just cause it looks better than the actual game itself. So we'll put that there. And then of course, the coolest update that I have to mention was the 2B outfit that you can have for Stellar Blade. I mean, if you don't see this as an absolute win, what are you, gay? And that's it for the W's. Damn, Frit. That's even less W's than the last event. Oh, <laughs> I know. And I'm stretching here, right? I'm trying to be a better person. I'm trying to, you know, incorporate some of that fake toxic positivity you see all over Twitter that helps people blow up. 
pretending to like things, not easy for me. Uh, faking stuff is not easy for me to do. So it brings me great joy to know I don't have to pretend to have liked this event. If Dreamcast guy is clearly unhappy about it, then it should be okay for me. Shut up, phone, I'm talking. Unless you're Mighty Keith, of course, and you eat up everything. It's time to bring out all the L's. Plenty of them. First off, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered. Nobody needs this. What the hell? <laughs> A complete spit in the face of consumers. It's an update that, yes, is relatively cheap. If that's like the only silver lining you can find in this complete scam. But I know why it exists. It exists because they're going to charge you for graphical updates for that PS5 Pro, aren't they? They're going to remaster it so that it looks really good on the PS5 Pro and they charge you for it. So you're going to pay more to play a better version of your game on an updated console you paid about 800 bucks for. Thanks, Sony. Uh, what do we got next? Right, <laughs> Dragon Age. It's a magical world where people can do whatever they want, except, you know, use spells to remove breasts and genitals. I guess in this world, they do it the same way they do here. They just hack away at it and leave a scar behind. How realistic. He, him, she, her, and they, them, and then your gender is man, woman, non-binary. Love that. Love the inclusivity. Top surgery scars are also included in this for all of our trans and non-binary rooks out there. I absolutely was blown away by this. Um, it's, it's, it's beautiful to see the inclusion in the game and to see yourself represented. That doctor is a miracle worker, Sheila. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Honestly, this game looks like complete dog shit. I don't like anything about it. I hate its UI. I hate its character designs, stupid blocky Fortnite art style. The combat looks serviceable, but there's nothing more to say. I mean, I'm not sold on anything here. There's nothing drawing me in. I want to throw out the W-O-K-E word, but like I said, the anti-anti-woke crowd is out to get us right now. So I'll, I'll just, uh, I, I'll, I'll say it doesn't appeal to my male gaze. It doesn't appeal to my male fantasy. It doesn't appeal to me as a person. They gave it the most awful, and I mean awful, logo. The shit looks exactly like Saints Row. This is not the Dragon Age anybody wants to play, and somehow I feel it'll sell just fine. Huge L. Huge L. And of course, they wasted no time telling you uh, Lego Fortnite was getting a split screen update. <laughs> Woo hoo! Yeah! Isn't that worth taking up some time at an event? Then Mark Cerny and his low testosterone ass comes out to remind you about, you know, the biggest scam in gaming history known as the PlayStation 5 Pro. Reminding you, hey, you gotta buy this thing. Come get it. It's gonna update all of your last gen games to look slightly better. Don't forget our vertical stand is sold separately. Oh, they remind you. They didn't forget to tell you that. Now, why they didn't remind you about the disk drive is beyond me. That would have been important info too, to display right there. Naughty, naughty Sony. Naughty Mark Cerny. You do not impress me with your hardware. You do not impress me with your tech. You really want to impress me, Mark? How about you show a game built for the PS5 Pro itself? Because I know if you actually dedicated to it, it would be unlike anything else we've seen, but hey, whatever, I guess, you know. Throw people more teraflops, more ray tracing performance that will never be utilized. What a waste of everybody's money. Then Sony is really, really stretching for time, and you know, they play a recap of everything they showed you like it was supposed to impress you. Reminding you, hey, the PS5 Pro is gonna be able to play all of this slightly better. Finally, we end it with their actual reveal, a sequel to Ghost of Tsushima. And well, <laughs> Twitter doesn't like it if you point out that this is like the fifth or sixth game where Sony replaces their male lead with the female. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that inherently. But at the same time, we can't pretend like there are people who ever asked for that. I mean, people would have loved the ghost too, but they have a female take center stage yet again in another one of their major IPs, whatever. All that matters is if it's good. The last game was excellent. I'm sure this one will be too. But I highly doubt anybody is looking forward to this as much as a proper Ghost of Tsushima 2. Now this one takes place 300 years after the first one in a different area. And apparently it's built from the ground up for the PS5, but nobody was able to tell, not even Dreamcast guy. Really, honestly, I, 
this isn't cutting it. Like, if you really want to convince us this was built from the ground up for PS5, you would figure they wouldn't be using the same assets and engine again. Either way, it still looks gorgeous, about as beautiful as the last one. But who really knows if anyone is actually excited or enthusiastic? If you really want to know what I think about the WAM side of it, well, you know which channel to tune into. Keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. And that summarizes State of Play 2024. It was absolute trash. A waste of everybody's time. My time, your time included. We did have like 1,700 people watching. Uh, whatever. Oh, oh yeah, 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 I forgot. Uh, Pal World. That's coming to PS5, so I guess we'll squeeze in a small little W there. And overall, I would give this show a 4 out of 10. Everything we saw we already know exists, minus the last reveal but not just that he, even xbox had to remind people on social media that hey <laughs> this is like 90 percent multi-plats we got most of these games they're showing too and we'll have some of them on game pass there's so much that could have been done better obviously at least they cut it short in total it was about a 40 minute long event i can't complain about the length but i will say the lack of reveals is starting to get to me I i'm exhausted I'm tired of seeing the same games for like almost two years. Just tell everybody there is nothing for a while, Sony. Just tell them the big first party exclusive games will not release till near the end of this console's life cycle. That's fine. Take your fucking time. Just don't make another Concord. Stop putting out these pointless events. Save your resources. That way, when you do host event, I know it'll be worth my time and not just worth mockery. Please, for the love of God, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you still choose to. To hell with it. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> Free Congo sucks ass. <laughs>